Hello everyone, this is RB Jewels coming to you from STO Handmade Jewelry and Craft Corner. Welcome back to Whips, Makes, and Shop Updates. I greatly apologize that I have not been making these videos. I really had to get some things organized and worked out um, what needs to be done um, in terms of sharing and I had some personal things that I really just had to uh, deal with um, you know in addition to getting organized so but we are back on track and whips makes and shop updates will be um, every Wednesday until further notice if something comes up Please uh, watch the community tab because I do share a lot of uh, information in the community corner, whether it's personal, or I'm just sharing a post, um, please be tuned in to the post. So today I'm going to be sharing um, some things that I have made, some things I'm in the process of making. And I'm going to be sharing items from my Etsy shop. So, but let me talk about that for a second. My Etsy shop is not available right now. And I am not sure if I'm going to reopen it. But I am still selling my handmade crafts and other craft supplies um, that you can purchase from me. And if you see anything that you're interested in, you can reach out to me. Um in my DM at um on my Instagram STO handmade hand jewelry STO handmade jewelry so you can reach me there in my DM if you see something that you like and I will also put information of where you can reach me uh via email and I can also put down payment information in my community corner um so that you can um, purchase from me directly, which it will be from uh, PayPal. And um, also, you can reach out to me, um, you know, um, and I'll let you know all the other um, uh, financial apps that you can make your payments through. So, without further ado, I'm going to talk about some things that I have made that you have seen in some of the shorts and some things that you're going to see in future shorts that um, I've been working on, but you're, you know, I'm kind of like going back and forth, you know, with what's going on. So it is what it is. So here is the first piece that you definitely seen in a short and um, I really love the way this piece turns out. Here's the back of it. And, um, this is definitely a bead embroidery piece. And these are Australian crystals and these are glass pearls and these are Czech, uh, glass seed beads and, uh, Australian bicone crystals and Toho seed beads um and i made the piece in the middle this is a uh, resin uh cabochon that i made um as the focal bead in this piece um it did it uh it takes me a while to make these pieces i want to say sometimes it takes me like two or three days to make a piece like this um starting from scratch um I'm choosing all of the materials and the designs for the piece and I'm making each piece um, step by step um, when um, I make it. So, and I do have um, resin cabochons that will be available, but I'm not showing them today in today's um, uh, update um, of items that's available. But what uh, what I'm going to do is going to put in the community page my other Instagram that's specifically for my craft supplies, and you can look in look at that and see you know those pieces as they are indeed uploaded 
and um, you can y'all you know see what's available. And if you see something that you like, of course, reach out to me in my DM, and um, you know I will package it, get it ready, and ship to you. You pay for it, and um, I will indeed um, send it to you. So here is let's let this sit there. Here's another piece that um, I just finished over the weekend, this piece right here. And again, you're going to see, um, you may, well, no, you will see the deconstruction little mini um, studio vlog short series that I did showing you the pieces that actually came the um from this here and i will put a picture of it in the community tab showing you the before and after picture of this piece and these cabochons these are polymer clay cabochons which i have made um using polymer clay canes that i designed and handcrafted first and then in terms made these uh, beads and um, I'm not sure if I have some of these beads available but I do have others available and I still have the clay cane so if you're interested I definitely can make more um, cabochons like this and then afterwards um, because the other piece was definitely a lot darker I in turn decide that I wanted to make the piece lighter and happier and to another design and this piece is going into um my etsy jewelry store but um if you're interested you definitely can reach out to me at um on my instagram at sto handmade jewelry in my dms and i can let you know the cost of the piece and um again you can pay for it and i will indeed ship it out to you now, for right now, um, I will be only um, shipping out on Fridays um, until further notice because I don't have a car right now. So, um, I'm only going to be going to the post office once a week, guys, once a week. Um, so, um, and if you do any orders on Fridays um, after 12, it will ship out the following Friday. Um, excuse me for shaking the camera. Um, if this is a gift or you need a piece to be shipped out um, sooner than that, like that Saturday, um, there will be an additional, you know, small fee. Nothing crazy. I know times is tight for everybody, so I'm not trying to, um, you know, make it hard or difficult for anybody. Um, but, you know, I'm just like, you know, my situation also. So, and I want to make sure that you do indeed get your purchase within a timely manner. So, this piece here, now in this piece, these two pieces right here, these are Swarovski crystals right here. And let me come up a little bit. These pieces right here, these two are Swarovski crystals. And these are Czech glass beads, and these are Austrian crystals, okay? The difference between Swarovski crystals and Austrian crystals is, one, they come from Swarovski crystals. And usually the Austrian crystals, um, they are Preciosa crystals, which they are the next in line behind Swarovski crystals that have very high quality um, in terms of materials and shapes and durability but yeah, that's the difference between that and um, so these crystals around here on the side these are Austrian crystals these are uh, fire polish crystals and the beads here are Toho seed beads and yeah in both of them right here and then the little beads are rocola so i use very high quality materials in making all of my handcrafted jewelry design pieces and then here is the backing 
on the piece and this is a faux leather on the backing and as for the chain I use a uh, steel uh, quality chain because I know there's some people who are allergic to metals now you can request a beaded uh, chain but a beaded chain will indeed cost even more um, that's why I've made the decision to um, put a um, steel chain, a non-tarnishing, high-quality steel chain uh, on the piece. So these are the two pieces here that I have made. So these are my makes right here. So let's put them aside so they can kind of stay in the picture. So right now, <laughs> let's put this right here with this. Um, I'm not finished because I'm going to do a second one. Uh, I am working on a pair of earrings. And in the middle here, this is an Austrian crystal. And these are Delica beads. And these are Ricolas. And these are check glass, check glass uh, leaves. And these are fire polish uh, beads. So, um, and here's the other materials beside it. Um, I'm still working on all the rest of the details, but I am indeed working, uh, on this. So this is what I'm working on right now. That's the other thing. So let's set that aside and let's pull out the last piece. This piece here that, um, I am working on is one of the pieces that you're going to see in the, um, studio vlog short of the deconstructed jewelry so this is what it's looking like right now and I have it attached to a piece of black lacy well black um, stiff foundation and I'm still working out the design I actually have absolutely no clue what I'm going to do right now only thing I have are the uh, Delica beads that I have chosen um, for this. Well, these are Toho's actually, but they look like Delica beads, but the Toho beads that I'm going to be using uh, in this piece, and that's all I have. So, um, you can watch in the shorts to see how that piece um, comes together, and I will show it to you when it's completed in another Whips and Make and Shop Update video. So, those are the two makes that I have going on right now. So, in my um, items that I have um, that I'm showing that's available this week are cabochons. Oh, and with the whips and make it shop update piece, I'm sorry, before I get into that, um, let me put this back over here. Um, so, this is, and this is the materials from one of the other whips and make, one of the pieces that I did that I deconstructed. Actually, this is the pieces that I did that's deconstructed from this. So I said that I will probably use the uh, larger beads if I decide to do a fringe at the bottom. So that's, I'm still up in the air about that. So, but I'm definitely just, you know, deciding how I'm gonna use some of these beads that I took out of there um, from this project. But I'm definitely doing a new, redesign for this piece and this is what I have and then I might change my mind and use a completely different um bead in the design so I'm still up in the air about that um so I'll probably be thinking about what I'm gonna do while I am working on the earrings so um uh, you know I wanted to share what I had for that so we're gonna put that aside so what I have to share with you today, I'm going to be sharing four items. Well, five actually, five. And I'm going to take them out so you can see it. So this is a polymer clay uh, square bead that, um, that I made. I absolutely love this bead um, that I've made. And you can see that it's high quality and it has a smooth backing on the back and the sides are smoothed out 
and then you have a lot of color in this design where you actually, if you want it, you could drill a hole in it and you can wear it as is, or you can definitely take it and turn it into a uh, beaded piece. And this can be your um, focal piece that you can use in your design. So the choice would be yours. And this is one of the beads that I have. And as you can see, this bead is $15. So that's that one. And then I have a larger bead, um, which has a unique shape as well. And it's kind of on the same design and it has a lot of color. So you have a lot of choices and it even, if you can see it has even has glitter in it and it has like gold in the design and then you have your um little jelly roll slices in between and as you can see you know you have your design there and it's flat on the back so it'll be easy um to use again you can finish the top part of it and you know if you want to add any resin or anything you hear my cute little cat, Miss Popcorn. So um, you might hear her little noises in the background. So you, you can use that or you can use this as a larger focal piece in your um, bead embroidery designs. And this piece here, as you can see, is $20. So that's that piece. The next piece is a uh, floral leaf cabochon here, and this one is finished. So as you can see, I'm trying to see what you can see, it was like has like a little shine to it. As you can, yeah, you can see it on the sides. Has like a little shine to it, and this is a um, a leaf uh, green and yellow uh, with flowers. Uh, artful cabochon uh, polymer clay bead and this is about a 45 millimeter uh, bead and as you can see again it's flat on the back so it'll be much easier to use and on the sides now these beads right here you can use as a focal bead in a uh, cabochon piece or you can drill a hole on whatever side that you would like and wear it uh, as is and just add a chain to it. Or because of the thickness of the bead, you can use it to do wire woven art. And um, in my last whips, beads, and shop updates, my whips makes and shop update video you saw the pieces that i've made that were made out of polymer clay that i indeed um did a wire woven um design on the piece so um it's definitely strong enough to do that but you do have to be careful with the sides because it um you know it's not the same hardness of a diamond or a cabbage, a diamond or a sapphire or uh, any of the other stones or anything, which I'm talking about the most scale of hardness that will not scratch metal. So you still have to be very careful and, uh, and you know, careful with the size, but you, it definitely can be done. And I have proven that it can be done. So, and the price for this one is, so you can see it is $14. So, and it's a very pretty piece for people who like certain times of the year, you know, you can wear that piece or like you can make that be a piece for you, a special piece or as a gift, you know, to someone who likes, um, you know, certain seasons or certain colors and, you can also wear these bright colors, like when it's cloudy and gloomy and some people have seasonal depression and things like that in the fall and the winter because the colors 
start to um, go away. So you would have beautiful pieces like that um, made with cabochons like this, you know, um, to carry you through that time. I do it all the time. I do it all the time, y'all. So um, here's another piece. This is a blue floral piece here. And um, it is a cabochon um, piece. And I put micro, micro powder over top of it and I sealed it. And then you could see that this piece does indeed have like a little floral pattern design um, over top of it. Again, this is one of these pieces and it is flat in the back. This is one of these pieces that you can use as a focal piece. Um, like I did this one, but as you can see, this one um, is not finished um, because this is the actual design from the polymer clay piece and it's baked in its clay itself. It's all put together as a, um, uh, as a, um, you know, as a, a polymer clay came. So, um, and that's what's up under here. And then I added the blue over top of it, which I think is very, very pretty. And um, you can see the other colors that's being pulled through it. And again, you can use this as a uh, focal piece and a beaded piece. You can drill it, wear it just as it is because it is sealed and it's beautiful. Or you can wire, you know, make a wire weave design with this piece. So, um, the choice is yours. The sky is the limit with this piece. So, and this piece is $12. See that? So, I have one more piece to share with you. And then, we're going to come to the end um, of, um, of, the, um, of this um, segment for today. So, in this one, these are resin pieces, and it's two of them in here. Two beautiful resin pieces. And they are made with high-quality resin, as you can see on the back, pieces on the side. And you get two moon pieces, and they are indeed green. And you can see the beautiful fiery colors in it, like opal. It, they are so, so beautiful. And you can make anything with this. You can definitely do a wire woven piece with this. You can definitely use it um, in a beaded piece. And, you know, you can create your own pendants, um, however you want to do it, whatever your skill, your craft is. Whether you, you know, you make knotted pieces, whatever your, you know, your heart's desires is, that's exactly what you can do with these two pieces. And um, you would get two of them and the cost for these two together is $8.50 for two uh, moon pieces. So these two pieces together. And I think they're so pretty. And um, I actually have made a piece with that. And it was a winter piece that I used from an inspiration that I had a long time ago um, of a winter sky when I was taking my kids to school. And I didn't know how I was going to put that piece together. And this is when they was my, much younger, but they're grown now. So sometimes inspiration don't come to you right away. And sometimes it does. But anyway... Um, you definitely can use these beautiful pieces here to create absolutely beautiful jewelry. The jewelry that you see um, in your imagination that will, you know, these pieces will help uh, make your creative dreams come true. So um, that's all I have for today uh, in today's um whips makes and shop updates and um i will definitely be sharing more every single wednesday now um if anyone looks at this 
um, in the, you know, future, you know, after, you know, a month after or whatever. Um, you still can DM me to see if these pieces are indeed available. Let me not make it look so bad. <laughs> to see if these pieces are indeed available, you definitely can. Um, let's just put these two here and put these to the side. And I will put these pieces in the on the community page from today's um, Whips, Makes, and Shop update so you can see um, what's available um, each week. And I will also link my uh, Instagram so that you can check out and see that page as well. So um, thank you for taking the time to stop by to check out the Whips, sh uh, Whips Makes, and Shop updates and looking at some of the pieces that I have already made and checking out some of the pieces that I'm in the process of making, as well as looking at the um, uh, craft supplies that I have available that you can purchase. And I will put more detailed information in the community corner. Um, so until next time, happy crafting.